we have got the Bills and the Titans. No, the Bills nope. and the Texans. I, I wrote it down wrong. Excuse me. That's a, mentally, I should know this. <laughs> like, I've been prepping for these stupid games. I should know what's going on here. The line is Texans minus two and a half. It is at 3.35 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. It is the first wild card game, and all the people that were out last week for the Texans, it looks like are going to be back. J.J. Oh, yeah. Watt, it looks like it's going to be back. Will Fuller is going to be back. I, this is – look, this ain't the same team that got destroyed by the Titans last week. We'll just say that. This is a different Texans team. This is the one that, that beat up on the Titans in Nashville three weeks ago. So, however, this Bills team I think might be better than this Texans team. Uh, tell me, tell me how you feel about this going going forward. I know that we both don't like Bill O'Brien. We got that down. Yeah. But is there any reason to think that the Bills can go in and and whip up on the Texans in this game? I mean, I think they can hang with them. I think they can beat them. I don't know that it's going to happen, but um, I I like Buffalo here. I like Sean McDermott a lot. I think that their defense is far superior than Houston's defense, even with J.J. Watt coming back. Um, I just think they're, they're just going to be a, a better, tougher defensive team. I think they can run the ball. They can control the line of scrimmage. And, uh, and I think they control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Now, you're going to have to defend with Watkins and, and, and Hopkins and Fuller, and that's going to be difficult. But I think they've got the guys to do it. And I like the Bills here. I don't know how much I love it. All of these, I think the lines are exactly right on all these games. I think so close. Um, the the margin of separation between all of these teams uh, is is pretty tight. And uh, and yeah, I just I, I'm I'm going to continue to ride the Bills. I've rode them all year, and it hasn't hurt me yet. No, and to be fair, uh, the Bills. Currently nine five and two against the spread this season. The Texans are seven and nine. Uh, both of these teams ten and six straight up. Uh, I mean, I, one way to look, and I, I guess we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about over unders on these because goodness, we have been awful in bowl season on this. Uh, but one way to look at it, uh, Texas or the Texans are seven and nine uh, as far as the total goes. Seven overs, nine unders. Buffalo. Four overs and 12 unders so far this season, which makes perfect sense. Uh, Buffalo, 19.6 points per game. They give up 16.2. The Texans average 23.6. They give up 24.1 points per game. Uh, Yards per play says the same story. Uh, Opponents' yards per play for Buffalo, they only give up 5.1. And the Texans give up 6.3. I mean, it is it's pretty crazy. Uh, when when you look at it, time of possession is about equal, all that kind of stuff. I I like Buffalo, but I, I think they're very limited on offense with what they can do. It just depends on whether or not Josh Allen has a good game, right? And I think that Deshaun Watson, if you're looking at just pure talent, uh, how they've performed over the year, at really over multiple years at this point, uh, Deshaun Watson's a better quarterback. Oh, no, no, but, no, it's down that. Nobody's questioning that at all. Um. Uh, the prediction tracker, the average prediction on this from all of the different analytic sites, uh, average is 1.56. So, you know, Houston favored by one one and a half points. I I tend to agree with that. Um, I'm getting Houston at less than a field goal, and I've got Will Fuller healthy. I've got, you know, all those receivers. I've got Deshaun Watson uh, everybody had a, a bye week basically last week because they all sat. I think I'm going to ride with the Texans here. I don't like it, but they are at home. They've got the the taste of last season's playoff game in their mouth. Um, I mean, they looked awful against the Colts last year, and I think that Colts team is better than this Bills team. Now, yeah, but that you can't even look at that because this Houston's team is not even close to what that Texans team was last year. I, I agree. I agree. Um, but I am going to side. That doesn't matter. I am going to side Texans here. Uh, but you're uh, you're riding Buffalo, huh? I'm riding Buffalo, man. I've been on them all year. I was on them early, and uh, and and I'm not stopping. I can uh, I can totally 
totally see that. Would it surprise me if the Bills come out and get this win? Not in the slightest. No, and if they lose, it wouldn't shock me either. I mean, there's no outcome. A blowout either way would be surprising. Yeah, no, I I agree with you on that. I I think that this Bills defense will keep this uh, right, right, just low scoring. You know, I think I think this game goes under, but uh, but yeah, I'm I'm rolling Texans here. I I think that they're just the better team, especially with Will Fuller and uh, and Hopkins and all that. So uh, 